Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, I'm brewing. Yeah, I had to uh, do something on that because, well, I had started recently brewing, not just beer, but well, not just recently anyway. I've been brewing kombucha for a while. Um, have like a little tester of gin there. I need to refresh that, keep my little scoby alive, and because some of my friends uh, have dietary requirements and, you know, I'm kind of keto, I don't drink a lot of beer, but I got curious and, you know, curiosity in cats, <laughs> I uh, decided to buy a fermenter, a little craft fermenter from Cooper's, I know I don't get money for promoting them or anything like that, but um, did some experimentation, brewed some mead and brewed some rice beer. So the first lot of mead I can't replicate. Sorry guys, might have been nice but I can't replicate it because I chucked a whole lot of different kinds of honeys in there. Uh, second lot of mead I've made. Um, yeah, I can replicate that. So I've made another mead which is apparently more meaty than the other one. And quite, I don't even know what the alcohol content of it is. But it does occur to me that I should actually properly document some of this stuff um, on paper. Um, also brewed some rice beer. That's quite interesting because I didn't just sort of get a kit. I got some ingredients, made my own wort, OMG, <laughs> and brewed it, boiled it trying to use all like natural ingredients or all ingredients that are easy for me to get and very little chemicals so I did that and had a taste test or someone taste tested on the weekend <laughs> and they're like oh my god OMG is this like your first try I'm like yes it is like oh my god <laughs> so now I've got to see if I can replicate that <sighs> so small batches of beers however I don't drink a lot of beer so I have like liters of beer but that's okay I have friends who drink beer and they can come around and have a bar a barbecue and beer with me and just uh, test it out help me empty some bottles as it were <laughs> not skull everything down but just have a nice relaxing evening now beer brewing is really interesting and brewing mead basically the same kind of thing but you know one you need to be a bit more conscious about your I guess your um, not cleanliness but getting rid of extra germs and stuff because it can affect the brew and make it go off um, the other one mead not so much and when brewing kombucha you know not that much at all because kombucha naturally has a kind of a vinegary um, acidic environment which is not conducive to a lot of other yeasts and bacteria whereas you know, as you go along from kombucha to mead to beer the essential for making everything sterile is, is a lot is, is increased a whole lot it does occur to me that I should probably you know get some of my friends to test the nutritional value and alcohol content of my beer well, that will say by drinking it <laughs> but Anyways, have you had an interesting in something? Like, I never thought I'd be interested in beer brewing or brewing stuff in general. But I actually quite enjoy it. Um, why, why beer? Why brewing? Because I can basically you know, set and forget. You know, I can put it on, have like my little notations and everything tweak a few things here and there and just sort of like set it for like a week or something like that and then let it sort of do its thing and it's actually quite interesting to watch particularly if you get a fermenter um, where you can see what's going on you can see like the different layers you can see all the bubbling um, it's quite interesting most fascinating thing to do but <sighs> I don't know if anyone's ever tried out there brewing their own beer whether it was successful or not um, in up and coming summer, lots of beer will be drunk. So I think I'm going to be busy doing some interesting brews and craft brewing and that. 
and uh, apparently it was really refreshing. <laughs> I need to have a second bottle just to be sure. Okay, and good thing is that not a lot of um, not a lot of calories I would reckon in that. Not a lot of sugars, not a lot of calories in that, mostly by the yeast. So, not only low carb, crisp and refreshing, and beer, but also good for you. So it's actually a health drink. So the low carb beer is actually a health drink. So rice beer, health drink. So I have more. That's your. That's more going to be a, an excuse this week, this summer. Is a health drink. Like Powerade. <laughs> okay. Have you ever brewed anything? How'd you find it? What do you do? You want to try and brew something? You know, start off with brewing something. Do you want to do beer or a butcher or you know something else? Oh, you know, try fermenting things. It's not all that hard to get started. I kind of got started with uh, kombucha, which is really easy, as I said, because it's not not that hard to get into. Johnny's is a bit more fiddly, and then you got mead, and then beer. I'm staying away from wine. It takes too long. <laughs> and I don't want to add extra chemicals and that into it. So, anyway, have you ever brewed? Are you interested in brewing? Why are you interested in brewing? This summer, lots of beer is going to be drunk. Are you going to try and brew some beer this summer? Hmm. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.